Hello, my fellow explorers! This is Malucha, and welcome back to Starfield. In a previous episode, we had to, well, basically talk it out with Sarah, because she was really, really mad at me for not talking to her about why I'm killing so many innocent people, apparently. And... Well, then we had to kill more innocent people to prove ourselves to the Crimson Fleet, and we had to explain ourselves to the commander why I was killing innocent people. And that I actually got the job done. Because right now we are on Rook Meets the King, travel to the Key. Nevermore, I will meet me at the Key, the Crimson Fleet's headquarters in the Crix system. So let's go check out where we can find that, of course. And let's sit our ass down. And fly out of here. Bricks mission start. Wait, what? Oh, I don't think it is. Oh, yeah, no, I can jump there instantly. Really nice. I thought it was a system I didn't explore yet or didn't have a connection to. But usually, if it's for a quest, you can instantly jump. So I'm not really sure if that system will like hold me back from actually going there. Grab jump complete. Let's see if I... Planet? Planet? Yeah, I haven't been here yet. The lock. Okay. Ooh, let's slow down. And let's dock with the key. Looks like a pretty big spaceship. Space station, not a ship. Locked in. Right, let's board. See what we can find. Get out of my face. You said the take was 10k, but it was 30. Big difference on 40% of 10 versus 30. Captain, greetings. You wanted 4k, you got 4k. Not my problem. If you're stealing from me, you bet your ass it's your problem. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Captain, do you require my assistance? My hey, steal from me and get caught? Better off dead. Sounds like you did the fleet a favor. Now toss this body out of an airlock before it turns into a damn air freshener. The hell took you so long? Forget how to grab jump or something? Ooh, I'm sorry I kept you waiting. Yeah, no sorry, I have my own affairs to deal with. Job's done, I'm here, so back off. Why, did you miss me? Please. Ooh. It'd be one less sloppy rook whose mess I had to clean up. The last thing I need is another Austin rate getting cold feet. You want to leave the fleet? You pay the price. Not in credits, but in blood. Uh, I have my own affairs to deal with. Job's done, I'm here, so back off. Fair enough. Glad to see you showing some backbone. Yeah, I knew it. We need Just to act Just be careful tough. that you can back up that <laughs> attitude before you square off with someone who can kick your ass. Uh, that's true as well. All that aside, you made it. So now, you get to hear a nifty history lesson. Pencils ready? Good. I don't hope this there's a... floating scrap heap you're standing on is called the key. But there's going to be, be a... UC Military Star Station, and now... It's the fleet's base of operations. Might look a little beat up on the outside, but we keep it together. Looks like a good place for some R&R. &R. Place looks like a real dump. I bet it really pisses the UC off that they're stationed here. Because he took over an entire UC star station. Looks like a good place for some R&R. &R. Hell yeah, it is. Yeah. Just watch it back when you Be do. badass. Cred <laughs> sticks tend to disappear around here, if you catch my meaning. Okay. Anyway, I'll tell you all about the key, but it's better if I show you too. Follow me. In my in my NASA engineering right. suits. History time. So, the key is in orbit around Suvorov. That's the very same ice ball where the United Colonies built a supermax prison they call the Lock. The UC is so clever. Supermax prison, Lock. Key? Uh, cute, huh? Yeah, that's actually pretty cute, yeah? Why are you walking so fast? The key cargo bay. Okay. He was walking faster than me, right? Am I overburdened or something? 
No, I'm not. Now, we've got everything the fleet needs right here. Of course, you've got to pay for it. Remember, on the key, credits are king. Why what the hell is this? All right, all right, hang on, Nev. Before you get pissed, I've got my hands full. Jasmine, sweetie, I'm trying to give a tour here. So you want to tell me why those damn doors are sealed? It's called a malfunction. You know, that thing I spend most of my day dealing with. Believe me, my people are on it. Have a little faith for once. Aw. And you always, Angel. This here's Jasmine. You need anything for your ship, she's got you covered. We'll hit up the depot next since these doors have given out on us. So anyway, we were talking okay. about the lock. About a hundred years ago, the prisoners down there rioted and took over the place. Okay. After stealing some ships, they were actually able to make it up here and took over the key. About time you brought us new blood, Neva. I was getting tired of trading with the same old faces. You're just ticked everyone's getting wise to your ridiculous prices, Aludra. Anyway, welcome to the depot, Rook. Well, you'll be lucky if these blood-sucking leeches don't bleed you completely dry. Whoa, whoa. It's not our fault that people don't appreciate how much it costs to get untraceable merchandise onto the key. Neva's just vining because she thinks she lost a ton of cash selling us a shipment of gear. She should have done her homework. Yeah, sure, laugh it up. I remember that next time I need something from you cheapskates. Let's move on. I love the dialogue in this game. After the liberated prisoners grabbed the key, they established it as a base of operations and began pirating the spaceways. That was how the Crimson Fleet began. Of course, Jasper Cricks had a lot to do with all that, but uh, we'll get to him later. Rook, meet Zuri, queen of the rare exports. If I don't have it, you don't need it. Neuro amps, blueprints. Hit her up and she'll take care of you. Speaking of which, you still owe me for that last purchase, Neva. It's like five figures. Don't make me collect it the hard way. <laughs> the hard way? Oh no. Rook, protect me from Zuri's vengeance. Enough of the bullshit, Zuri. I'll pay you when I pay you. Deal with it. Got a problem with that? Take it up with the boss. See On anything the right, you like. You've got Radley from the Trade Authority. Was she hitting me sure up? You know the deal there. He'll buy pretty much anything, no matter how hot. Then we got our med bay on the left, run by the one and only Samina Mizra. She'll patch you up, if you've got the money. We don't run any free clinics up in here, you don't? Okay, this is our final stop. Over there, you've got the last Nova. Where Bog serves watered down drinks at ridiculously exorbitant prices. And right here is the most important place on the entire station the Reckoner's Core, run by the incomparable Shinya Voss. Another new rook, Neva? I can't believe Delgado still lets you recruit given what happened with the last one. You mean Austin Ray? It's been taken care of, all right? I don't like loose ends, and this rook is the one who tied it off. Perhaps next time you'll try to be a bit more discerning regarding your choices. It's far more cost-effective. Yeah, yeah, love you too, darling. Anyway, Shinya handles our lifeblood. The money. We call him our Reckoner, but if you ask me, he's actually a pain in the ass. And Neva will slit your throat if she thinks you'll bleed creds. Go to hell, boss. Take care of our new friend here, or I'll find a way to pull the pin on that little party popper in your chest. Anyway, yeah, what's that on this chest? Shinya will get you set up in our system. I've got real work to do. Real Once work? Once you're done, head upstairs and I'll introduce you to the boss. Ooh. Time for a proper introduction. I am Shinya Voss. The official reckoner for the Crimson Fleet. And since Neva so thoughtfully mentioned it, yes, this is a bomb embedded in my chest. And no, I'll never know the meaning of the word humble. A in fact, bomb? I find Delgado's idea of a security measure to be quite empowering. 
I'd say that was a bit extreme. That's going to get infected. Just set me up so I can start making money. I was a bombing or chest empowering. Just set me up so I can start making money. No, no. See, it doesn't work that way. You new members have no patience, no appreciation for history. Since I oversee the bulk of transactions and maintain all accounts for the fleet, I'm a prime target for information. Should our enemies capture me or I grew any semblance of a moral conscience, you might consider me the greatest threat we have. For Delgado, the bomb grants peace of mind and a certain degree of safety. Delgado sounds like a smart man. I bet you don't get out much. I don't think I could make a sacrifice like that. So one more move and you're dead. Delgado sounds like a smart man. Yeah. It's why he's the boss. Of course. I'm not the first Reckoner to bear a bomb under my rib cage. But Delgado was smart enough to continue the tradition. Now, let me get you set up. A moment while I convene with the core. Thanks to advanced modifications even Dugin would envy, I can interface directly with our mainframe and the Galbank network. This allows me to move and clean credits faster and more efficiently than any run-of-the-mill cyber runner. Okay. There. You're done. So when I got a bank account now? All you need now is Delgado's blessing, and you'll be one of us. Uh, time to make those credits. About time. That was easy. Any other modification I need? Time to make those credits. The perfect segue into my final subject. Thanks to our relations with contacts across the galaxy, we always have a steady stream of jobs available. I've granted you all the necessary permissions to access these listings at any time using the computers that surround the core. Slimes like we're doing a lot of business together. I'm not interested in small jobs. Just tell me where, what kind of job. Sounds like we're doing a lot of business together. If Nava's chosen wisely, we certainly will. Now, I believe that covers all I have to say. So you can run along to Delgado. Take the elevator to the upper level. You should be able to find your way from there, I hope. Okay. All right, listen up. You can all stop complaining. Atrium to cargo bay doors have been repaired. Oh, and you're welcome, Nev. Of course, when the tour is over, she says. Okay, that was funny. Is there like loot I can steal from here? Yeah, look at that. Of course, I'm not gonna take a beer bottle, guys. Worth nothing. Ah, there is our other new recruit. He looks like a French dude. So, now that we are all here, it's time to get down to business. The two of you are the only rooks that have made the latest cut. The rest, well, let's just say they won't be joining us ever again. Neva's willing to put her neck on the line and vouch for you, which means. You've got what it takes to join the Crimson Fleet. I won't disappoint. After what Neva put me through, she better vouch me just waiting to cash in. If dealing with the Ragana was at the limit of your capabilities, then you have a serious problem on your hands. Ooh, that was the wrong answer. You are already in too deep to quit. And I can promise you, it only gets more difficult from here. I love his right, bandana. Let's get started here. When you sign up with the Crimson Fleet, you're in it for the long haul. No one quits. No one retires. The only way out is death. You stay loyal or you pay the consequences. Fleet before friends. Fleet before family. Fleet before yourself. They even got a slogan. Got a boss. I don't like taking orders. I hope that doesn't include fleet before breakfast because I'll like to sleep late. Why would a pirate organization have so many rules? Got a boss. Boss. <laughs> Good. You're getting it already. I like that. I knew that. Broke his get ego. On with this. I want to get drunk at the last Nova. I'm impressed. That is the first intelligent thing you have said this entire time, Mathis. Since you two seem so eager to move forward, let's get to your next job. Pack your cold weather gear, Rooks. Where we are going, you're going to need it. 
Oh, God, don't tell me you're dragging him down to Suvaral for another one of your little initiation runs. Ten Johns to the surface, twelve dead rooks. You'd think by now you would have given up on that goddamn campfire story. Crix's legacy is no story, neighbor. We've got fresh eyes in the fleet. And if these two want to impress, they're going to help me search those ruins. I hope you're right, Dale. That new code we grabbed for the lot cost us a ton of credits. And a decent captain. This initiation, as Neva calls it, is your chance to see where it all began. On Suvorov with Jasper Griggs. Griggs led the riots that gave birth to the Crimson Fleet. And if his legacy is still out there, we're going to be the ones to find it. Maybe you should tell me more about Crix's legacy. What's this code Neva was talking about? So you take every new pirate on these initiations. How many tests and initiations do I have to go through? Hmm. Of course. Where else could I find such a perfect location to weed out any rooks who'd be wasting the fleet's time? Well, maybe you should tell me more about Crix's legacy. Before Crix left the fleet, he left a message talking about a fleet? major score. One that would set up the fleet to be a big player in the settled systems. Somewhere down the line, they started calling it Crix's legacy. And everyone who's tried to find it has wound up empty-handed, missing, or dead. If we're gonna beat those odds, we'll first need a lead. And I would wager we will find one on Suvorov. Dale's leaving out the best part. That this whole search is based on a handful of words on a very old slate. Crix left a lot of big talk on that recording. And not a lot of facts. Some of us believe in it more than others. <laughs> Don't listen to her. When we get our hands on Crix's legacy, the fleet will be operating at a completely different level. We will become more than a match for UC Sistef. We'll be unstoppable. That's a little overly ambitious. Let's just get it on with. What if Neva Wright and Crix's legacy isn't real? Won't the fleet just become a large target for UC? Um... Let's just get on with it. Sounds like someone wants to get down to business. Yes. Okay. Enough discussion. We have got a lot of work to do. To that end, the next stop is the lock. I've had Jazz feed the coordinates into your ship's computer. Since Mathis doesn't have a ship, he's going to ride with me. I'll see you down there, Rook. Don't keep me waiting. 250 XP, okay, that's nice. Might if I ask you more about this initiation? Is there anything you could tell me about Chester Crix's history before he ended up in the lock? <laughs> I could tell you stories that would last for hours. But now is not the time. You have a job to do, and I don't like to be kept waiting. Well, you already when said you... that. Well, if you get back to the key. I am sure you can find some copies of the interview he gave to SSNN around here, somewhere. I think those recordings might give you the history lesson that you are looking for. Well, I did need uh, news information to for SNN for another side quest, right? Might if I ask more about this initiation? No, let's just exit. Like it's been you know, 19 minutes something? of talking. I'll finish it. Got a problem with me? Holy crap. Let's see where we need to go. Out of my way! I'm gonna be first. I don't wanna make him wait. Let's jump off. Go! E Ducking Bay. Sprint! Let's go, let's go, let's go! It was a, wasn't it a race? Hello, Captain. Let's go, let's go! We got a mission ahead of us. And. As we are going into... Don't jump downstairs. As we're going into um, an old prison, I suspect that yes. nobody there is going to be civilian, right? Like, we can just kill anybody or and every, everything that we come across. Okay, I'm dark. Now, I do have to say 20... Let's get out of here. It's been 20 minutes of talking, guys, and I really have no idea how long this quest is going to last, so it might become a longer episode. But I kind of want to, like, at least do this. 
Uh, the lock. Oh, there we go. Let's land. History of the settled system sold date. The Free Star Collective in United Collective Fight Landing Board. Landing initiated. Yad, yad, yad. Flaring. It was extreme cold here. Right? Not sure if my suit that I'm having right now is actually good for extreme cold. Uh, exit ship. CFP. Hello. Yeah, it says we need to fast travel. Can we fast travel from here? That is the question. Hmm. Yeah, no, it says we need to go. So, put away the scanner. Open the map. The lock. Travel. There we go. Like, I don't really get why it didn't work. Yeah, I'm level 31 in the meantime, guys. I've been I've been using my farm so much. Like, holy crap, I've been enjoying it. Oh, About he's already... time you got here. I told you you were wasting your time, Del. I always keep my word, and here I thought you liked surprises. Let's cut the crap, let's gather the business. You're gonna take Matt's side over mine. I always keep my word. Yeah? We will see. And Mathis, I am running things around here, so keep your mouth shut. You got that? <laughs> Fine. All right. Yeah, he's Listen coming up, by because first I am only name. Going to go through this once. So we are here to with dig each up other. any info about Grix's legacy. We are not here to scrap for loot. That's what I love to do. Whatever you pick up, don't think, don't get creative. Bring it straight to me. Sounds simple enough. This is a waste of time. Don't worry, math isn't capable of thinking. If that was supposed to be a joke, I am not laughing. Oh, come on. Don't worry about laughing, Delgado. It'll be a goddamn laugh riot when I split open his head with a crowbar. All right, that's enough. If either of you want to fly with the Crimson Fleet, then you need to follow one simple rule. Credit when the you're scheme. on a job, you do exactly what I say. No questions asked. If that doesn't work for you, just say so, and I will leave you on this ice ball without a ship. You will be dead within hours. Yeah, yeah. Understood. We have a lot of ground to cover between the landing area and the lock, so let's get moving. All right. So you guys might walk. I'm going to sprint there. How far is it? 140 meters. Yeah, I don't care about the enemies behind me. That's a lot of enemies behind me. I think I can make it into one sprint. Can I? I can! Requires key. Okay, every enemy in the game is gonna come for me, probably. Almost dead. Heal up. There's still one here. Reload, I said. Can we... ID card. I don't have an ID card. Is it on the bodies of some of these guys? Probably not. Where's the rest? Really? Are they not showing up? Are they still fighting? Here we are. The place where Jasper Griggs laid the groundwork for finding the legacy and eventually the Crimson Fleet. The lock. I'm ready. The problem is that we don't know what's inside exactly. How long was Jasper Crips in this place? Refresh my money. What was the lock? I'm ready. I don't really care what's yeah. inside. He needs to get this thing open like right now. It's freezing out here. Then crank up your like suit that. heat, Mathis, because it's probably not going to get much better once we are inside. All right, let's keep moving. Standing out here isn't doing us any good. Uh, no. Open sesame. This ID card cost a small fortune. Let's hope it pays off. Let's heal up a little bit. <laughs> we are in. Let's go. Can 
Can we go in? Oh, we can. Okay. I thought I needed to wait for him. Okay. Flashlight on. First time I have been inside this part of the lock, so keep your eyes open. See anything unusual? Call it out. If it's hostile, take it down. Good listen. Better than trying to survive on the surface. Uh, not much better. Even with the heating on, this place looks like a goddamn dump. Now you know why the prisoners got fed up and looked to Crix to lead them out of here. And that's how the Crimson Fleet began. Yeah, yeah, we've all heard the story. It's not a story, Mathis. It's history. Remember that. Now, keep your mouth shut and your eyes open. Okay. Legato? Don't be the silent type now. I know you love to talk. When when are you gonna let me do my thing? Ooh. We're not here to loot? Yeah, hell yeah, I'm gonna loot. So first we do this, then this. And we got this and this. Yeah, okay. Okay, ditch picks. And some XP, nice. If, if, if this is gonna be the entire mission, then it's gonna be freaking boring. You're not gonna. This there we go. Where they registered the prisoners before transferring them to a cell block. Could you imagine? Being stuck under a ton of ice like this for the rest of your life. Yeah, sure. Must have been awful. Better them than us, though, am I right? Wait, shut up a second! Did you hear that? Wait, what was that? Raiders. You got a death wish? Four of these things. Take them all down. I'm reloading, I'm reloading. I'm 35 XP, that's not bad. Enjoy that Does seem now. like I need two shots to kill him. So let's switch to the other that's shotgun. One, down. one shot. One shot. Yeah, the other shotgun does more damage. So I'm thinking that the shotgun actually doesn't upgrade. Wait, this one didn't even kill him one in one shot. So it might be possible that it just doesn't upgrade. Like, I got this one before I actually invested in shotgun skills. So, my gun might not just register. There's more here. Legato. Can you... Must be a nest. I bet these things are crawling all over the place. Yeah, and their bodies probably heard us firing from about a kilometer away. Hallelujah. Sounds like, like someone needs to grow a pair. You're right, we need to move quickly. What do you mean? Someone needs if to grow a pair. If we weren't on this job with Delgado, I'd drop you for saying that. Enough already. I should have known better than to bring both of you at the same time. Now, let's see. Looks like we are inside some sort of prisoner transfer area. But everything is locked down tight. Since you are such good friends, why don't you and Mathis head up to that control room and see if you can get some more of these doors open? Right, I'm not gonna lose out to him. Whoa! Why am I why am I standing on top, guys? In a second, in a second I got a broken leg again. Keep going. Of course, we're shut out from the other crew. This ice and rock must be several meters thick. God damn it, we're cut off. Hey, Dell, can you hear me? Dell! Shit. There's no way we're getting through here. Well, Big this Mathis. is just great. The hell are we supposed to do now? 
Stick with the plan. Maybe we can cut through the debris. Just shut up and let me think. Guys, I think I'm, I'm I think this mission might actually take like a while and I don't want to bring out an episode of an hour. It's already 30 minutes past. So it seems it seems I cannot exit. Uh we stick with the, the plan. plan. Who gives a shit about the plan? Let's face it. We are on our own now. Then we should continue to follow the guard's orders. Why? Because that's what his loyal little soldiers are supposed to do? The hell with that. I have a better plan. We use this opportunity to take out Delgado, and at the same time, make some serious credits for ourselves. Ooh, I'm not betraying Delgado. I should shoot you myself for saying this crap. Whoa, whoa, hang on. G g give me a second to explain. Let's pretend for a second Delgado's correct. And there's information here about Crix's legacy. Once we get rid of him, we'll dig up the garbage ourselves and sell whatever we find to Neva. We'll be rolling in credits. Not going to happen. I'm on board for now. How do I know you're not just a plant set up by the ghetto to test my loyalty? Are you crazy? I'm no rat for Delgado. I'm busting the ass to become one of the Crimson Fleet captains just like you. And in case you missed it, that ice fall trapped both of us in here. Unless we find a way out, no one's reporting anything to anyone. Ever again. Uh, you want the criminals to be chasing it for the rest of our lives? Won't the information be worth more than she'd ever pay us? No, 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 no way. Listen to me. We're going to be handing Neva leadership of the Crimson Fleet on a platter. She'll be thanking us for getting rid of Delgado. I mean, come on. I'll bet you a month's share that he's never been this vulnerable. It's perfect. Not going to happen. Oh, fine. Suit yourself. You know, for a second there, I was almost starting to respect you. Now, let's find a way out of here. I will kill you someday. I, I really will. But for now, guys, I'm going to wrap up this episode here. Kind of thought I would do this one in one long go, but I, I just don't want to air an episode of an hour. I simply just don't want to. I know a l not a lot of people are interested in, in uh, hour-long mi missions. If you do want to see me just do, like, missions in one long go, just let me know. I, I, I consider it, but from <sighs> my six years of experience right place. now in YouTube, not a lot of people like to see me talk for an hour. <laughs> it's, it's, it's as simple as that. Anyway, guys, like I said, I'm going to wrap it up here. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you want to see more of my quest progression on my Let's Play here in Starfield or any other game I might play on my channel, just hit that subscribe button. It would always help out a lot. Like I said, do hope you enjoyed this one. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.